Hi, I'm Chelsea Collins here from the North Melbourne Football Club. We're all out at St Andrews Beach Golf Course today with the players and coaches enjoying a hit of golf while they enjoy the nine day break in between rounds. There's also some very curious looking outfits as well. So let's go find out what the dress code's all about and see if anyone's any good. Yeah, obviously uh, a golf day today. So we've got the nine day break and we thought we'd break up, break up the long season with um, a day to relax and have a bit of fun. And you can see with uh, all the boys dressing up in uh, Caddyshack themes, so there's some nice outfits. Who do you think's best dressed at the moment? Um, Ryan Bassnack's pretty good with the leather pants and uh, Mad Jack as well. And I'm noticing you sort of breaking into small groups across the day. Is there any sort of prizes or is there a bit of a competition? You guys are all very competitive. Yeah, there's a few prizes. Um, Blackwoods have sponsored it, so there's um, a few tool sets and stuff, but um, yeah, more um, pride in um, beating everyone. So I think uh, Wales's group's favourite though. And Brad Scott's going to be here today as well. He prides himself in being quite a good golfer. Is, um, is there a lot of pressure on him today? Yeah, oh, definitely, but uh, I made the group, so I put him in with uh, two poor players of golf, so um, he'll have a hard task to win it. Jack, I'm not sure whether to say your best or worst dress today. What's with the get up? Um, we've got um, an up shop themed golf day here. So all the players and staff and some of the executives are coming out. And, you know, I thought I'd um, have a bit of fun and get dressed up. Today I'm dressed by Majak Dior. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm good at I'm good at playing golf, but um, I'll have a crack. And, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the greatest, but... Um, yeah, I'll have fun today. There's there's a few guys that aren't up, that aren't up to scratching golf, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm the worst in the team. People say that Daniel Wells is probably going to be one of the best. Do you think he'll be a standout? Yeah, Wells is pretty good at golf. I played with him a few times, and you know he's just so smooth, just like his footy skills. And yeah, especially after the weekend's loss, I think this will bring us even closer, have a bit of a laugh, and um, yeah, move on and concentrate in the next game. Straight down the middle there. Brad, we know you enjoy a bit of golf in your spare time. Did you feel there's a bit of extra pressure on you today to perform? Oh, not based on what I've seen so far. Uh, there's been no pressure put on from Scott McMahon whatsoever. You're not feeling it here. But a little bit of pressure to get the ball in the fairway because uh, he's not putting too many in there. We, um, we did hear you might have been a bit disappointed that he was in your team today. Yeah, look, I've, I suppose if I had my choice of the 45 players on our list, he would have been probably 45th. Um, but, you know, Scotty Thompson's done the groups and... Like we did on the weekend, you accept the umpire's decision. And is it nice for the players and coaches as well to have a bit of a day away from the club and a bit of a bonding session on the course? Yeah, it is. We've had a couple of short weeks um, you know, in terms of turnaround to games. So nine-day break this week gives us a chance to get out and spend some time together and have a bit, have a bit of fun and then get back into some serious training tomorrow. <laughs> 